That's a terrible line. Or awesome. I bought over 445s on eBay. Now I'm going through them, cleaning each one, and looking for lost gems. The next one is a record by a super classic guy who I know nothing about. It's Cliff Richard. The A side, I believe, is The Next Time. The other side is Lucky Lips. I would say mid-60s. Somewhere between 64 and 67. Um, the Next Time was written by Key, Kay and Springer. Lucky Lips was written by Lieber and Stoller. Now here's what I know about Cliff Richard. Almost nothing. He was huge, it still is, I guess, huge, huge legendary uh, singer in the UK. He's kind of like the tragically hip is to Canada. It's just one of those like national artists that I, I couldn't name a single tragically hip song, but they're apparently huge in Canada. Cliff Richard was like the guy forever. He was like, everybody I guess calls him the British Elvis. As far as I can tell, he was somewhere between Elvis and Pat Boone maybe with some good elements of both, if Pat Boone had any good elements. Um, but just, I don't know, maybe he's all right. Maybe he's, to me, he's like a, probably pretty cool, at least it, it, in sections it, at times, but maybe kind of more show busy and professional that I would really be interested in. The next time, that title does not suggest anything good or bad really. Lucky Lips does not sound very promising. Lieber and Stoller wrote pretty much every song that exists, so it's probably just a very professional, bland type of thing. But let's check it out. Let's check out The Next Time and Lucky Lips. I believe this will be competent, even enjoyable pop rock from, from the mid-60s, and I probably will not keep these on my, in my uh, keep playlist. But let's see, maybe this is all unfair. Maybe it'll be awesome. Oh, honey, my heart belongs to thee. Boy, oh boy. Look, just between you and me, I'm recording this video after lunch. And you know, in the afternoon, it's this room is warm. In the afternoon, on a weekend, after lunch, you get sort of sleepy. This song ain't helping. Trying to stay awake and be dynamic and interesting for this video, but golly. Cliff Richards putting me to sleep. Well, let's, let's pick out the good parts of this. I do like that piano. It's interesting. It's got, I've got something to say about the proceedings here. Sorry. But good Lord, as a whole. It's a good singer. This is corny BS. Sort of ra rambling chords that never really go anywhere. Sounds like a national anthem. You know, national anthems always sort of have that random melody that never seems to go anywhere or resolve itself or anything. By me babbling over this song without re listening to it, that's what it sounds like to me. I think they're about to end. One more time around the little circuit, and then we're gonna come in for a full ending, not a fade out. Oh. Yeah, this must have been earlier than I was thinking, not 1966 or whatever. Hurry this song up, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, this is just corn, corn, corn. Not corn, but corn. <laughs> Well, it's much better than the A-side. You can, you can at least bob your head and groove along to this one. Except that part. What are they trying to do? They're trying to keep me out of the dance 
floor. Okay, Cliff Richard, give it a rest. Lucky lips are never blue? That's a terrible line. Or awesome if they... <laughs> what kind of zombie thing? <laughs> Lucky lips are always blue. Never blue. With lucky lips, you'll always have a baby in your arms. Presumably they mean a female companion. Your baby, not a baby. You'll have paternity suit after paternity suit because of your lucky lips. This song is pure bull. Hey, yep, that, that sounds cool. Cliff Richard is a big deal somewhere, but not here, here in this heart. But let's go see where this was, when it came out, what's the story, was it a big hit? I bet it probably was. Um, and then I'll throw this out the window like a frisbee. That's not that bad, I guess. It's, I don't know, who cares? It is that bad as far as I'm concerned. I don't have to have a good opinion about it, do I? Just because he's a big famous guy, I can have whatever opinion I want. Hey, Cliff Richard, the next time, <laughs> lucky lips, cute, cute, I like it, the uh, parts of it, but uh, <laughs> As it turns out, lucky lips is actually the intended A side of this single. It came out in 1963. It was a big hit all around the world, except in the US. It was originally recorded by Ruth Brown, and her version was released in 1957. The next time was also a hit in 1962. It hit number one in the UK. It was later chosen as the B-side for this American single of Lucky Lips. I think that's right. All in all, not really my type of thing or what I was looking for. Thanks anyway, Cliff. 